Dito Moweni, the former South African Finance Minister and Reserve Bank Governor, has passed away at the age of 65. His family confirmed the sad news on Saturday night, expressing their profound grief at his passing. In a family statement, it was revealed that Moweni had succumbed to a brief illness while being treated at a Johannesburg hospital. Surrounded by his loved ones, he passed away peacefully. The family, devastated by his loss, has asked for privacy as they grieve and come to terms with this magnitude of their loss. Further details regarding his funeral will be shared in the coming days. The announcement was made by Alto Moweni on behalf of the family highlighting their sorrow and the difficult days ahead. Moweni's passing is not only a blow to his family but to South Africa, where he was a towering figure in both politics and finance. Moweni held the position of finance minister from October 2018 to August 2021. During his time in office, he played a key role in shaping the country's economic policies, helping South Africa navigate through turbulent economic times. His tenure was marked by his efforts to stabilize public finances, reduce the national debt and promote economic growth despite the challenges posed by global economic conditions and local fiscal constraints. Before taking up the role of finance minister, Boini served as the eighth governor of the South African Reserve Bank, a position he held from 1999 to 2009. His tenure as governor was significant for its emphasis on inflation targeting, a policy that helped South Africa maintain price stability during a period of global economic unsteadiness. Boweni was highly respected for his strong leadership and commitment to a sound monetary policy. Boweni's career in public service did not begin with his work in finance. He was a key figure in South Africa's post-apartheid government, serving as the country's first black labor minister under Nelson Mandela from 1994 to 1998. In this role, Boweni helped craft policies that aimed at balancing the needs of workers with the demands of a growing economy. His work in the Ministry of Labor was crucial in laying the foundation for South Africa's modern labor relations framework. Before his appointment as Labor Minister, Mboweni served in the ANC as the Deputy Head of the Department of Economic Policies. His work in this role was instrumental in shaping the party's economic policies during the transition to democracy. Mboweni's contributions to South Africa's economy landscape extend far beyond his official titles as he remained an active voice in public debates on economic issues even after leaving office. Despite his significant roles in government, Moweni was also known for his approachable personality and candid opinions. He regularly shared his thoughts on social media, offering insights into his views on political and economic matters. His love of cooking in particular became a popular feature of his social media presence, allowing people to see a more personal side of the man who had once held some of the highest offices in the country. As news of his death spread, tributes poured in from across the country. Many have remembered Mboweni for his dedicated service to South Africa, his tireless efforts to improve the country's economy, and his leadership in times of both crisis and growth. His passing leaves a profound gap in the political and financial spheres, but his legacy will continue to shape the nation for years to come. The Mboweni family is currently dealing with the overwhelming grief of losing their loved one, and they have requested that the public respect their privacy during this difficult time. More information regarding his memorial service will be provided in the coming days.